In this video, I'm going to be going over how to clean up your code. So this is what we're going to start with in our index.js. And this is what we're going to end up with. So we're using app. This is also what app looks like. And we can see that it's much cleaner. And this is going to be really helpful information when you have a big project. And it's just going to make your life a lot easier. So make sure that you watch this whole video. And before we begin, make sure that you like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And comment down below if you get any errors during this video. But now, let's get started. So the first step would be to remove your object from your index.js or if you have the app.js file, which I'm going to go over in a second. But to do that, we're going to have to make a separate file and it's going to be data.js or you can name it whatever you want. But the most common one would be data.js. And actually, before I move on, all of this code is going to be for my React crash course. Then I'll leave a link to the GitHub repository in the description below. But if you have your own project, then you can also use that. But in this case, we can see that we have an array of different objects. And this is actually what it looked like before. So I'm just going to copy this. And it was const video one. So video one. And that's going to be an object. And then I would paste all that in here. And then I would have another object. So that would be video two. And the values would be a bit different here, but hopefully you get the point. And what I did is I would just copy all of this and put it inside of an array of objects to make it simpler. So if you have something like this, then try to make it look like this. So just make an array of objects to make it simpler. But that's only if you have multiple objects that are pretty much the same. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this from our index.js or the file that you're using and put it in your data.js file. And now we need to export it. So there's multiple ways in which we can do that. And if you only have one array or let's say object in your data.js, then you can export your array or object just like this. And then you would import it in the file that you're using it. So import videos from, and then I'm going to write data in here. And we can see that everything works fine. But then if you have multiple objects or arrays, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to export it like this. So export videos and then remove the export from here and then i'll be able to export another thing so let's say i had users and then that would also be an array of different users and so on so name bob or whatever and then we could also export that in here so users now if i go here i could also use users and let's actually console log that to see if that works so users Let's go into our log and we have an array with our first user and his name is Bob. So we can see that that also works. Now, the next step would actually to remove all of this from your index.js because usually your index.js should be pretty much empty and you're actually going to use a different file, which is called app.js. And here's what it's going to look like. So in here, we could import everything, paste it in here. I'm going to remove this and then use state and also Actually, React should be fine, so we can also remove that. And let's copy all of the code other than this bar right here. And then paste it in our app.js, just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to export it. So let's write export app and also forget about the default, but we don't actually have a function for app. So let's go ahead and do that function app. And here what we're going to do is we're just going to return video list just like that. Now, if we go back to our index.js and write import app from app, we can go to our render app, make sure that it's capitalized, and we can see that it works the exact same way. But now our index.js is cleaner, but our app isn't. So we can do the exact same thing that we did with our data.js, put everything in a different file, and this is what it would look like. So we could go to our source and usually you would make a folder called pages and in here let's say if you had a navbar you could write navbar and in the navbar you would create your react files so in here you write all the code and here we could have another folder so let's make this folder for our video list so i'm just going to write videos and in the videos we can make two separate files to make this much cleaner so one would be for video the other one would be for video list so in videos we're going to make another file which would be video list .js and then we could also make video.js just to make this much cleaner I'm going to remove that let's go in here I'm going to cut the video list paste it in here let's export default video list 
And then let's import uh, the data and also use state from there. So copy that, paste it right in here. And then now in here, we're going to have to import it. So let's write import video list from and we can see that it auto completes for us and we get a bunch of errors and the biggest one so far is probably going to be the data one and then also video is not defined and all of that stuff so let's go in here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to fix this real quick so go here here and then we go to data that error is fixed and now video is not defined so let's go ahead and paste all the code from video so app let's copy this paste it in here I'm going to export default video and here we need to use both of our imports. So paste that in there. I'm going to actually move users because we're not using it. And let's take a look at the error again. So video is not defined video list. Let's import video and we can see that it's going to auto complete. But now when we reload, everything should work again. I'm going to remove this import because we're not using it here. I'm going to space this out and in here I'm actually going to put the video list. So video list inside of these brackets because now i'm going to show you what would happen if we had multiple because now i'm going to show you what would happen if we had multiple pages for this example i'm going to use the navbar what you would usually do is you could import navbar from pages navbar and then navbar but what would happen if we had a bunch of these then it would look something like this just an example and it wouldn't look as good so what we would do is we could go to pages and then in here we could write index.js which means that in our app if we write import let's just say video list which is what we're going to export so video list and then we're also going to export the navbar so copy that paste that in here and then also the footer from and then we could write from pages and it's going to work but it's not going to work for now because we actually haven't done that yet so if we go to index.js and then we use those imports so i'm going to actually go back copy these paste in our index.js here and then we don't need the pages and here we're going to export both of these so video list navbar so video list and navbar and now if we actually remove these imports we can see that everything is going to work and we're importing all of these from our pages which would actually be the index.js and we could also use the footer so let's write footer from footer footer just like that and let's see and here we're turning h1 navbar we're going to return navbar and in our app we could write navbar and at the very bottom, we could use our footer just like this. And we're getting in there because I forgot to export footer. So footer, fix that. And there we go. So we have our navbar and we have our footer. But then let's just say that in our videos, we had a bunch of different imports here. We could do the exact same thing, which is what you would usually do instead of doing it in the pages. But in here, let's fix all of this real quick. So import videos to make sure that it works so it opens the right file and actually let's go back in here and I want to show you something so if I write import video list from videos and open it we can see that it's going to open our index.js file so that just means that when we're writing this path it's going to open the index.js file and the path to it is not going to look weird so instead of writing navbar navbar we could write navbar and then if we have an index.js in there then it's just going to use the exports from there. Now we're going to get an error, so let's fix this real quick. And now we can see that it works again, but now we're not going to have videos and then video list, or let's just say it could have been video list, video list, and so on. And we could do the exact same in here. But the point is that in our app.js, it's not we're not going to have multiple imports. And this is really helpful when you have a bunch of different files. Um, but in this project right now, I, I don't have that many, so it doesn't look like much and like it's helping me, but I promise you when you have a bigger project, it's going to help you and save you a lot of time. So in pages, what you could do is basically just have uh, different folders and here you could just export everything and in our, in your app.js, you could import them and then write it like this instead of have, instead of having a bunch of code. So Let's just say in here for the navbar, you would have to use an H1. So H1. All 
or actually hold up only the h1 but hopefully you get the point so this is what the project looks like now and imagine this but with more code instead of looking like this so instead of looking like this much cleaner and nicer and so I really hope they've learned how to clean up your code in this lesson and and I'm actually going to leave a link to this github repository down in the description below so make sure you check it out but without further ado this is where I'm going to end this video so make sure you like this video subscribe so you don't miss upcoming react lessons and if you want to see more content like this comment down below if you get any questions or if you have a specific video in mind you want me to make and hopefully see you in the next video